Thanks for giving me a break. Uh, at this point, I don't know yet. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Builds Back to Life. It's Tuesday, June 1st, and I have eight eBay orders to ship out. Let's get them pulled. So the first item I had to pull down uh, separately without the camera on, just because of the sheer weight of this box. This has 43 vintage Corvette quarterly magazines. I think they range in years from 1988 to 1997. So 43 of these. I got this out of that Corvette lot of stuff that I bought for $360 and I sold all these for $45 plus shipping. Next item I sold was this Vetter Equipment Case IH hat. I think I got this at a garage sale for a quarter and it sold for $4 plus shipping. Next item I have to ship out is this King Solomon and his followers, Missouri, some sort of uh, Masonic booklet, something or other. I don't know what, exactly what it is. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for this. I think I got a lot of items recently in a garage sale. So I'll probably have a quarter into it and it sold for $15 free shipping. Here's another hat that I sold. This is from my personal hat collection. I don't ever think I'm ever going to wear it. I sold this for $5 plus shipping. I have this lot of 42, the Corvette Restore magazines ranging from 77 to 89 year wise, I think. And I sold this for $40 plus shipping. And the next item is on the floor. Next item I'm just gonna do down on the floor here. This is a combination of items that I got at uh, one garage sale. I spent probably close to $40 at that garage sale. A lot of different flats, kind of like this, full of stuff. And this just ended up being all of the stuff that I either didn't want to take the time to check on the value of, or I just didn't think it had much value. It's a bunch of vintage keychains, photo albums, Bibles, just knickknacks and uh, dollhouse parts, all kinds of stuff. So what I did with all this was I listed it as a vintage junk drawer lot. If you haven't heard about junk drawer lots on eBay before, essentially people just take items that are pretty much worthless by themselves and then combine it into a big lot of stuff call it a junk drawer lot and actually these things tend to have some following behind them and are a little bit desirable of course depending on whatever items you put in there if you just put meaningless stuff from your junk drawer in there it's not going to be valuable at all but vintage stuff that can kind of be desirable can sell pretty well in a junk drawer lot so I ended up setting this for an auction up at 99 cents the starting bid and I sold it for $7.50 plus shipping. So I'm running out of room on my table, but we're gonna try to pile this so nothing falls down. This next sale is a big one. I've got these three boxes of sealed toner. I just picked all of these up at a garage sale last week. So actually I paid a dollar each for these boxes. So $3 total. And I sold it for $152.50 plus shipping. The last eBay order of the day, that I have to ship out is this Sony portable AM FM radio. I got this at a garage sale around my hometown for $3 a couple of weeks ago. It sold for $23 free shipping. I do have a couple of Amazon sales to ship out today too. At a garage sale a week or two ago, I went and got a bunch of office supplies. It's kind of an estate sale an older woman was having. I got a bunch of shipping supplies for myself. There was a lot of envelopes also, and uh, I've already sold those. As part of that, there are just these two sealed packages of Staples mini binder paper. It's just three whole bunch of paper, um, college ruled. And I sold these on Amazon for $3 a piece plus shipping, so $6 total. Lastly, for the sales to start off this week after Memorial Day weekend, I also have a local sale for those Chevy Traverse floor mats that you've seen in a prior video to this. I got the two sets of front floor mats for $15 total. And for just one of the sets, I'm selling one of them locally here on Facebook Marketplace for $50. It is Wednesday, June 2nd, and I only have one eBay order to ship out today. Let's take a look. So here's my one order. This is a Chilton manual for a Ford Mustang Cougar 64 to 73, as you can see there. I ended up selling this one for $20 plus shipping. It is Thursday, June 3rd, and I have four eBay orders to ship out. Here they are. The first item is this household inventory book. I got this at garage sale. 
in that same lot that I filled the whole entire car with. I think I probably paid maybe a dollar for this and a box full of other books. I sold this for $10 plus shipping. Next item I've already got it pulled. It's a lot of Corvette judging manuals from the National Corvette Restorer Society. I think there are six maybe here, something like that. Already had them packaged up in the box I'm gonna ship it in. I sent a best offer out on this and sold it for $28 plus shipping. The third item is this Garth Brooks collectible sealed eight disc set. I think it just has a bunch of CDs. The most important thing is I sold it for $18 free shipping. I got this at a garage sale. Probably only have maybe two or three dollars into it maybe. Then the last item of the day, I just listed this yesterday. It's a vintage Singer buttonholer. It's actually a sewing machine attachment from like 1948, I think. I just got this and a lot of stuff for $20 in total, so I probably only have a dollar into it, honestly. And I sold it for $8 plus shipping. Hey guys, it is Sunday. I got back from garage selling on Friday and just didn't have enough time to video what I sold on Friday and just didn't have enough time. It was like an hour or so right before the post office closed, so I just had to get everything packed up shipped out and I'll just post what I sold on Friday, maybe like here, here, and then here and here. Okay, uh, one of those was a vintage CB radio that I actually got for free at a garage sale, sold it for $75 as is, for parts are not working, not even used or anything. I'm very happy with that sale. It's a free $75 basically. But I was gonna show you what I got on Friday and Saturday since it is Sunday now. So yesterday I picked up 11 hats for $20. All these are new, I'm pretty sure. And some of them are the Richardson 112 snapback trucker hats that are actually very desirable. You should keep an eye out for them. And then I also got this vintage Chevrolet blanket. Uh, keep an eye out on blankets whenever you're out at garage sales, depending on what the brand is and how the condition is and everything. I actually got this lead from Ready Set Reseller. He looks out for blankets whenever he's goodwilling, goodwill hunting. He scored on a blanket recently, and so I just looked this one up on eBay. There's none sold, but there are several that are listed for at least 40 to I think $60. So keep an eye out for that. More hats down there, a ton of hats on Friday. Speaking of, this whole styrofoam cooler is full of 40 hats that I got for $50. It was an amazing score. I just asked for hats, if they were selling any hats or anything. They asked me actually, so it's actually on them. And uh, they showed me this. I hadn't put it out yet for the garage sale and it was late and uh, I bought all of them. Anyway, I would pull the top off of that and show you guys, but there is a heavy printer on there and another camera on top of that. It's just not, I, I don't want to go set it down anywhere. It's, it's fine. You'll see it whenever I sell it. Thank you guys for watching. I do want to say I've looked at the analytics and something like 98% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed, which is just crazy. Like, I understand if you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. You want to watch my videos, it's cool. But 98% of you, like, if we get that percentage up just a little bit, I would really appreciate it. I do appreciate everyone that does subscribe. I think I've got 60 subscribers right now. I appreciate you all, and make sure also, I never usually say this because I forget about it, but make sure to also hit the button with the bell on it just so that you're notified whenever a new video of mine comes out. Um, you can always also follow me on Instagram. I usually on Instagram post whenever my new videos are about to come out or are coming out. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying your summer. It is June. It's full-on summer. Let's go. I'll see you in the next one.